Today we're really excited because um, the governor of Colorado, Governor Hick John Hickenlooper, recently signed a proclamation for workplace health and safety. And today we're honored to have the lieutenant governor here speaking on the behalf of um, all Coloradans to promote this new proclamation for workplace health and safety. So this is um, an important step for us as an organization uh, because you know, we think that this, uh, this shows that the state government uh, and the leadership in the state government uh, really values uh, workplace health and safety. Colorado is a proud employer of about 2.4 million individuals. But among those individuals, every year, some suffer from workplace injuries, illnesses, and even fatalities. And those injuries, those accidents, uh, cost Colorado businesses uh, hundreds of millions of dollars every year. That's a key cost of doing business that we need to, re to, to, to bring down. We need to not only protect workers, but protect businesses. Day laborers and domestic workers are exposed to some of the most dangerous work uh, around. They help sustain this economy. They help dual income families do what they do uh, in looking after their homes, their children, their parents. Um, they help small businesses with flexible and reliable work. It is or it should be the goal of all employers in Colorado to provide a safe and injury free workplace and send their workers home each day as healthy and injury free as when they started their day. WorkSafe Colorado is a great resource to Ball Aerospace for continuing to meet this goal. It is also a great resource for all Colorado employees, employers who care about the health and safety of their employees. In Colorado, we employ workers in some of the nation's most high-risk occupations, including mining, construction, and agriculture. We are leading the way to developing new technologies and manufacturing methods in emerging fields of nanotechnology, oil and gas extraction, and green technology. But the impacts to worker health are not yet well understood. Every three days, on average, somebody in Colorado dies as a result of the job that they have. They die on the job, uh, which, which we think is still too high. Um, there are many other injuries that don't result uh, in death, but that nonetheless keep people out of the workforce, uh, that drain uh, employers' resources, increase their, their workers' compensation claims. WorkSafe Colorado has really been a culmination of years of effort where stakeholders have come together to raise the profile of occupational health, worker health and safety. WorkSafe Colorado provides a forum for everyone who's, who has a stake in occupational health and safety to come together and discuss best practices, learn about new research, new programs that are available. This event is important today to just raise awareness, raise the profile of awareness for occupational health and safety in the state of Colorado, um, to engage people at all levels, um, whether private employers, public employers, people that work at state agencies, um, workers themselves, people that advocate for workers, uh, policy makers as well. We just want everyone to be aware of how important worker health and safety is for Colorado. This proclamation marks the beginning of hopefully many more um, events like the one today and so I think that as we start to grow I think that our, our network will expand and will bring more people into our organization and that will only make Colorado a safer and healthier place to live and work.